It sounds like an alarming development. Could Alzheimer's disease be infectious? A new study showed that in a rare medical procedure, proteins associated with the disease move from one person to another. Scientists, though, have been careful to point out today that people had no need for concern. They should not take away any inclination to panic that Alzheimer's is suddenly going to transfer from being a disease of the individual to being an infectious disease that they could get by visiting the dentist, the doctor, or any of the normal things that we do in our normal life for our health. The study examined the brains of eight people who died from CJD, a brain disease they'd contracted through contaminated injections of human growth hormone. Seven of those people had amyloid beta in their brains. That's a type of protein also found in the brains of people with Alzheimer's. The researchers think this protein was transmitted to the patients via the contaminated growth hormone injections. None of the eight patients studied had Alzheimer's when they died, but it's unknown if they would have gone on to develop the disease. The study didn't prove that Alzheimer's disease itself had been transmitted. Its scientific value is in the new light it sheds on how the disease might develop in the brain. Alzheimer's disease remains a mystery, but one thing we do know, you can't catch this disease like you catch the cold. Alok Jha, ITV News.